Marshall Irwin doesn't like a new feature coming soon to his local Loblaw-owned superstore, a receipt scanner at the self-checkout exit. It said that uh, you had to scan your receipt. Once customers do so, a metal gate will open so they can leave. It's another form of receipt check. I don't think it's ethical and I don't believe that uh, they should be able to do it. Irwin says the scanner at his store isn't activated yet. They're assuming we're all all thieves. This shopper found the scanner in action at a Loblaw-owned grocery store in Woodstock, Ontario. He wasn't impressed. I just introduced so much um, extra chaos. You had some people, especially a lot of elderly folks, were uh, completely unaware this was a new thing and were just pushing their carts through the closed gate. We trigger alarms. There was alarms going off maybe every one to two minutes. Loblaw confirmed to CBC News it's testing the scanner in four stores to try to combat theft fueled by organized crime. It didn't provide data. Last year, Loblaw was among several stores that tried receipt checks done by staff. You have a good day. Thank you. you. U.S. Grocer Safeway has already introduced receipt scanners in some of its stores. These measures have also sparked customer backlash. This consumer advocate says with rising grocery prices, retailers should avoid anti-theft tactics targeting all shoppers. The fact that you make uh, regular shoppers feel like criminals, that takes it a step too far. Customers already feel imprisoned enough by high prices. He also says Loblaw can't prevent shoppers from leaving. If they're stopping you and you feel like you don't have an ability to leave and uh, there is no basis for them to detain you, that qualifies as false imprisonment. Loblaw didn't say what happens to people who refuse to scan their receipt or what customers do if they didn't buy anything and have no receipt. People we spoke with say they just hope the grocer's test run is short-lived. Sophia Harris, CBC News, Vancouver.